We got two brand new gel blasters to review for you today. We're gonna do an unboxing of these. We're gonna see what they come with, the FPS test, the accuracy test, the pain test, and then we're gonna review these things and see if the price is right. Also stay tuned all the way through the video because today I'm giving away two gel blasters to one of you lucky subscribers. Let's go. This is the Fervent Toys Pistol Accuracy Test. 10 feet away. Boom! Knocked them all down, baby. This is the accuracy test from 20 feet away. All right, 20 feet away, it's still accurate enough and powerful enough to knock down the targets. Now let's try 30 feet away. All right, that took a little bit longer. You can tell that the Orbeez are starting to drop off right at 30 feet, but we still hit all the targets down, as you can see. Let's check the FPS on this thing, baby. Okay, not too bad. Between 100 and 120 FPS, which is feet per second, we're gonna go ahead and do the pain test from 10 feet, 20 feet, and 30 feet away to let you guys know which is the safest distance. As always, we wanna stress safety here on this channel, so make sure if you're using these gel blasters, you also have a pair of safety goggles on. Kids, do not try this at home. I like to get shot with no shirt on to show you the true pain level. Let's go, 10 feet. All right, all right, all right. Okay, 20 feet, let's go. Are you even shooting? <laughs> uh, just kidding, I can feel it a little bit. You can definitely know that you're getting hit from 20 feet away. I'm interested to see what 30 feet feels like. Let's do it. 30 feet away, let's go. Woo! All right. It's just like a taking a shower. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is by far the weakest shooting gel blaster I've used in a very long time. And gel blaster number two is a submachine gun. We're gonna go ahead and test this thing out right now. Let's go. First up with the submachine gun is the accuracy test from 10 feet away. Woo. So this thing is a little weird to hold. I think the handle is a little bit close to this magazine here. Um, and just by shooting it, the pistol is definitely way stronger. 20 feet away, let's see what happens. So the scope is actually pretty accurate.
What's up guys? Sorry to interrupt the program, but this is the part of the video where I give away gel blasters on my channel. These are the same exact gel blasters I did a review on in this video for you. To win these two gel blasters is very simple. All you have to do is hit the like on this video, leave one comment with the code word Mr. FE, and subscribe to the channel. And here's the person that won last week's gel blaster. Thanks so much for commenting, subscribing, and being part of the FE clan. Let's get back to the video. Woo! Here we go, 30 feet away, submachine gun. I'm gonna give up on 30 feet. We got two of the targets down. It's not really that accurate from 30 feet away and it's really not that powerful. So let's go ahead and test the FPS. Here we go, FPS test for the submachine gun. So my theory is confirmed, the pistol is definitely stronger than the actual submachine gun. It shoots at about 100 and 110 FPS, whereas the pistol was getting up to 120, 125 on some of the shots. Let's go ahead and test the pain of this gel blaster 10 feet, 20 feet, and 30 feet away. Submachine gun pain test 10 feet away. Woo, let's go. All right, 20 feet away. Go. All right, 30 feet away. Let's go. Is he even shooting anything? Am I even getting hit? You can get shot from 10 feet, 20 feet, or 30 feet away with these gel blasters and still be safe. Uh, I don't know if you can see any red marks on the camera from there, but there are red marks. There's no welts from these gel blasters, which is very good for children, all right? If you're an adult watching this channel, make sure to look at some of my other videos because there are other gel blasters more powerful that you might be more interested in than these. But if you're a kid, these gel blasters are perfect for you and there's a link down in the description. Make sure to get your parents' consent before you order these gel blasters. They come with goggles, Orbeez, chargers, everything you need to get started with the Orbeez War in your own backyard. Okay guys, let's talk about the Fervent Toys gel blasters that we just tested out. These are actually pretty cool gel blasters and there's a few things I like and a few things I don't like about them. Let's talk about it really quickly. So first of all, the submachine gun. I like that it has a drum magazine on it. I really like the way it actually feeds the Orbeez up into the blaster and it doesn't really actually miss a shot. A lot of times if you don't have the gravity feed, you'll have shots missed on certain like cheaper gel blasters. Now these gel blasters are on the cheaper side, on the more affordable side for you, and they are on the weaker side. Uh, the one thing I didn't like is that the, uh, the foregrip here on the front of the blaster is really, really close to the magazine, which I mentioned earlier. So it just makes it kind of weird to hold onto. For an adult or somebody my size, uh, that's gonna be really hard to grip onto and really weird. I like the green dot sight on it, that is really cool. And overall, it's a pretty good looking gel blaster. It's not super heavy or anything. So yeah, overall, I'm gonna give this gel blaster like a six out of 10. I like the pistol from Fervent Toys. This is one of their newer blasters and I actually like this one a lot better. Both of these gel blasters take the same size battery, but this one actually shoots more powerful. So I don't know if it's like a different motor in it or what it is that makes it shoot more powerful. But as you can see from the test, it's 100 to 110 for the submachine gun and 100 to 120, 25 for this pistol. What's really cool about this pistol is what I showed you in the beginning when we did the unboxing is that you can actually take it apart. So you have the foregrip that can come off and then you have the front, uh, I don't know what to call this, but this black piece just kind of slides off the blaster like that. And then you have your 
extended barrel or your silencer, whatever you want to call it. And that actually comes off. So you can make your blaster a lot smaller and it looks really cool this way as well. So that was one of the pluses about this gel blaster. You can have a couple of different looks with it. I also like the gravity feed. Uh, it, it always does a good job of feeding the Orbeez in consistently. Uh, and yeah, like I said, the best thing about it is that it fires a little bit more stronger than the submachine gun. They are uh, cheaper gel blasters. They're more on the affordable side. I do have a link in the description down below if you would like to purchase these gel blasters. Some of the gel blasters on my walls cost $100 or more, but not Fervent Toys. At Fervent Toys, you're gonna get a very affordable price. Somewhere between $39 and $59 is what I've seen on their website. And if you use the link down below, you will get a discount with that as well. That's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to check my merch shop down below. We got the FE Clan merch out right now. The sweater I'm wearing, you can purchase on there right now. And you can go get shirts, hats, mugs, cups, anything you want is in my merch shop. Make sure to check that out down below. Watch this video and this video. We'll see you next time.